markings there so you don't have to measure it out second time. That's what I mean, it's a lot quicker. And so this is so much fun. I really love these. Um, you can use the smaller books also. I really didn't like the ring size, so I think I'll try a smaller ring size with the smaller books. But with the larger books, it looks perfect. And the reason I put 50 sheets of paper in there is um, so it gives enough room so the paper will flip over. Okay. And so, hey, look. Here we go. So we got them both there. And then you're going to get your rings, three rings, and you're going to start putting them in like this. I just do this to hold it together. There you go. And then when I put the paper in, I'll lift it out. And so then you're going to take the other one and always go from the back so you hide like that that part of the ring. See that part of the ring right there? And so then so just go through the back. Okay. And there you go. It's really cute. Opens up like this. And then the next step is you're going to take your paper. I've already measured my paper. And so what all I did was, these are 50 sheets here, and I can cut them on my little um, paper cutter three at a time. And so, let's see, here's my ruler. And so all I do, because the paper measures, the one I get, it's Creatology drawing paper. It's drawing paper. And so it measures 9 inches by 12 inches. So I just measured this way. And so it's ten and a half, which we already knew. And then about where the binding rings are, it's eight inches. So it's eight inches by ten and a half for this particular one. Each book is different naturally. So then what you're going to do to get the paper is just lay the cover on top like this. And take the paper, maybe... Um, just like little tiny stacks. I think with 50 sheets, I think I go through three stacks and the puncher just goes right through it. And then you're going to take the cover and again, like we did with the other, uh, the back cover, you're just gonna put a little pencil prick inside each of these little holes to measure it. Okay, and so then you're gonna do that. I shouldn't have put these on yet, but I'll go ahead and take them off real quick. You can tell I'm like really totally organized here, huh? Anyways, this is my second Christmas video for this collection. And I was just trying to get started. There's so many things to do before Thanksgiving. So anyways, so here you go. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and put those little pencil markings in there. So I'm going to end up with that. And you can see the thickness there's several sheets, and this is what's so cool about this. I mean, you can use a regular paper puncher if you want, um, but that will take, like, for me, forever. And there you go. And it's so cool. And one more. Okay. There we go. Yeah. So then you have your, your holes here. And then you're going to when you have your um, binder ring in there, you're just going to take your paper and you're just going to start putting it through the holes. Just sort of thread it through there. Super simple. Okay. And there you go. So you can get the idea. And just keep doing that till you finish, and you have all three binder rings. This is what you're going to end up having, okay? I love this one. Again, I used the pages of this book to make the wallets using my other YouTube tutorial. And so they're really cool. I love these binder rings because you can replace the paper when, um, when the person wants to add more paper. And so that's why I really love the binder rings, too. And I found this book at the thrift. I love this. It's an upsy downsy book from this 1960s. It still has the price tag on there. I'm just going to leave that on there. I think it adds some charm 
And so, anyways, there's the inside of the cover that's really cute. And there's the back. That one's a lot of fun. I love I Spy books, and I found this one at the thrift store also. You can get books really cheap, like for a buck. It still has the kid's name on the inside, but it's all right. You can always cover that up if you want, but it's all right. And so there's this one. I really love this one. I'm going to use this one when I go to Writer's Critique Group. This one says College Typewriting. And I believe the, uh, the copyright date was like from the 50s or something. It was a college book. And this one I have line paper in here. And all I did was cut off the, um, the side where it had the um, binder rings. Uh, because this book actually lifted this way. And I really liked it. And I love it because, see, I can fold it back and work on it when I'm at the critique group. And I love the inside. It's a lot of fun. Well, anyways, I hope that wasn't too scattered and hope I get better at this. Uh, so, anyways, thanks a lot and have a good Thanksgiving and good holidays. Bye-bye.